I'm going to talk about wood staining. Now, I'm using this stuff right here called wood bleach. The main ingredient in this is called oxalic acid. And I did a little test piece here just to show how effective it is. Now, this was stained. I already applied it once. I'm going to apply it again. You have to wait about 10 minutes for it to soak in, and I'm going to apply it again. But I'm going to pull this tape off when it's all dry, and I'm going to show you just how much of a difference this makes. And the amazing stuff is that this stuff seems to not really affect stains. And I don't mean like the mineral stains. I mean if you do an oil stain on it, I've done it with an oil stain on the wood. It doesn't affect the oil stain at all. Water stain I haven't tried yet, but I'm assuming that might have an effect. So just be careful what you're using this on. This is untreated red oak with a uh, iron mineral stain in it. So what I'm doing is I just have a green Brillo pad and I mixed that at the ratio that it's called for into just warm water. And it says to use a brush, but I find a green Brillo pad is perfect for this because it holds just amount, just enough of the moisture in it. And you can lightly scrub the wood to kind of work it into the grain. So all I'm doing is just dampening this, scrubbing it onto the affected area. I'm even gonna do the end grain a little bit. And let it dry. That's it. all this stuff requires. So I'm gonna show you how effective this is. Now I'm gonna find a darker piece that I can show you just how bad this spot actually was. Just for contrast, this is the same piece of red oak from the same tree. Now this is caused from nails in the tree. It's actually the iron nail, the, the nails rusting and oxidizing in the wood, creating this black look. And actually here, oh, that's just, that's actually where the nail was. So this is the outside of the tree. And right here, this gouge, is from where I pulled the nail out before I milled it. And you can still see the, the scarring from the tree growing around it. And right here you can see the tiny little hole that the nail was in. And it just stained the whole thing. Now, just for demonstration, I'm going to take this on this same little piece, and I'm just going to go from this edge of the hole over and just show you how much of a difference it'll make I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to tape this one just so you can see that I'm not doing anything special to it. I'm just going to let that soak again for about 10 minutes. That's pretty dark, so I might have to do it three times here. But I'm going to let this soak for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to come back to it, coat it again, wait another 10 minutes, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it's been about 10 minutes and also make sure you're wearing gloves with this stuff. It is an acid and it could burn your skin if you uh, touch concentrated amounts of it. So yeah, be <laughs> cautious. So I'm going to take the tape off of this one. This is actually pretty dry. I did two coats on this and before I do that, let me just do a second coat on this. You can already tell it's significantly lighter. But just for demonstration, I'm going to do a little bit more and let that dry. Now, as for this, this is dry. So it states that all you got to do to clean this, I have clean water in this bucket, just a damp rag. I'm just going to. Wipe it, rinse, wipe again to get rid of any of the residue from the acid. Because it does leave small little crystals behind, which when dry look like little calcium deposits. And take, oh man, that's a big rag. 
take a rag, clean dry rag. I'm just gonna dry this off. Now, just from looking at it at a glance, with doing two coats on this, it is impressive. Because this had some, I mean, that pulling tape off, you can see just how dark that end grain is. Now, if I pull this off, you can really see the difference. really be able to see the difference. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is insane. You can see where it leached into the, the grain a little bit, but I mean, just look at that. That is freaking impressive. It removed almost all of the staining from the minerals. That is absolutely crazy. And look at how dark that is. It looks like, it looks like I just removed a layer of paint. It is absurd. I even did the end grain just to show you it absorbs into the end grain just as well. That side versus that side. How crazy is that? This stuff is awesome. I would highly, highly recommend anybody that has reclaimed lumber and it has a lot of stains on it that you don't want. This stuff will work amazingly. Now I purchased this at my local Ace Hardware and if they don't have it in stock at Ace, you can purchase it online. And as far as I know, it only comes in this one size. It may come in other sizes, but I'm not entirely sure. And again, this is an acid. Use protective gloves when you're mixing this with the water because this is a concentrated acid. So again, it's called wood bleach made by Savagran, if I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, this stuff works amazing. Removes black water spots and stains. I'm just blown away by how much that takes it right off. And it doesn't bleach the wood. Like I was under the assumption it was going to bleach the wood, like bleach, bleach, like make it super white. But no, it really doesn't affect the natural color of the wood, at least on this red oak. It just took off the mineral deposits that were left in the wood from the, uh, the nails. How crazy is that? And going back to this one that I just, let sit over here, just letting it sit by itself. You can also see it's still wet, so it hasn't fully set in, but look at how crazy that is just from sitting there for a couple minutes, how much lighter that is. You can still see it's a little dark, so I would need to apply it again in another couple minutes, but like that is absolutely crazy how well this stuff works. So if you're, interest, if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description so you can purchase it yourself. And yeah, <laughs> this stuff is awesome. Highly recommend it.